Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, I'm going to show you how you can split the ATC sound from the main audio. Right, the main audio, the engines, maybe some other things which are happening around you in the cockpit. You might want to separate that from the, I would say, voice of the ATC. So since the latest uh, sim update, you can do that. And I will show you how to do that. So you can go to options and in the options you can go to general options. And in general options, you will find the sound section. This by default is set to the system's default device. And the system's default device is in most cases the device which is plugged in as a lost device uh, to your system. And that sometimes is frustrating. For example, if you have, I would say, normal speakers and you connect a headset to it, the, ha the headset is the latest audio device connected to it. So will be the default system's uh, audio device and in those uh, cases all the audio including the engine power will be played to your headset and believe me that might not some be something you want so what can we change here well if we click on the main device output selection you see all the audio devices available right so in my case it's my microphone it's my uh, screen it's my uh, loudspeakers it's my headset and it's my digital output so I want this one to be focused to the uh, normal speakers. Once I change that, it will be directly active, right? You don't need to pr press up, apply and save. It will directly work. So for the ATC sound, I want to make sure that I can hear it to the Jabra headset. So I press OK. And if I would start a flight now, I will hear the ATC sound via the headset while it plays the rest of the sounds via the normal speakers. There's one thing I need to warn you about, and that's if you're flying and if you're unplugging this headset, currently Flight Simulator will crash. It will, it doesn't, I would, for some reason it doesn't, isn't smart enough to switch back to normal audio, but it simply crashes the complete Flight Simulator. So be careful with that. So if you decide to use this kind of setups, and you want to unplug your headset, then first I would say shut down Flight Simulator and then unplug the headset. Really, really weird behavior, but that's the way it is. Once you're happy with these settings, simply click apply and save and you're good to go. And it will use uh, these headsets and these speakers as the default device. Audio output for the uh, main audio and the headset for the communication with the ATC. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to, stay, want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.